In this video, we're going to complete example four. This time we're representing a network diagram as a table. And what's a little different is this network diagram has weighted edges. And in case you've forgotten what weighted edges are, basically they are numbers that are next to edges and they represent something. And in this case, they represent the distances between towns in kilometers. Okay, so let's start with Ashgrove. I always seem to start at A and work my way through. You'll notice that Ashgrove connects to Beecroft and connects to Frankton. So the edge that connects Ashgrove to Beecroft has a 23 in it. So we're going to write 23 here and 23 in this spot as well. Notice that both these spots line up with B and A because this edge connects B and A together. Okay, the next one from Ashgrove to Frankton from A to F has a 17. So we can see an A to F here and we can see an A to F down below. All right, now let's focus on Beecroft. We've already got the edge from Beecroft to Ashgrove, but we also need to go from Beecroft to Engleton and Beecroft to Charlton. All right, from Beecroft to Charlton is a 19. So we can see B and C here and we can see B and C lining up here. Notice that we get two of them each time. Then from Beecroft to Engleton, B to E is 25. So from B to E is here, and from B to E is 25 here as well. All right, let's go now from Charlton. We've already got from Charlton to Beecroft, so we need to go from Charlton to Engleton and Charlton to Denmark. So Charlton to Denmark is a 28, so C and D lines up here and C and D lines up here as well. And Charlton to Engleton is 36. So C to E is at this spot, and C to E also is down here. We have a 36. All right, next up is Denmark. Denmark connects to Charlton, which we've already done, and also connects to Engleton with a 24. So D to E is a 24, and we'll have two of these. All right, finally, we've got Engleton to Frankton, which is an 8. So E to F is an 8, and we'll have two of them. You'll notice we have a lot of uh, blank spots here, and we need to put dashes in there to show that there is no connection between these vertices. We'll now look at question B, which says, what is the shortest distance you can take from Beecroft to Denmark? Now, there are several different routes you can take, but there's two main ones that I notice is I could go through Engleton, which seems quite short, and the next one that seems quite short is through Charlton. So we've got to figure out which one's better. Uh, going through Engleton, we have the distance of 25 kilometers and another distance of 24. So when we add these up, we get 49 kilometers going through Engleton. And if we go through Charlton, we have lengths of 19 and 28 kilometers and when we add these up we get 47 kilometers so the shortest distance you can take from Beecroft to Denmark would be 47 kilometers anyway that concludes our video on example 4 remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video